I first went to USC in 2001, I had a detached retina. It turned out not to be a cancer, not, not that, but it was inflamed cells, which puts the retina off. But by the time, from the time it started to the time we had surgery was too long and we essentially lost most of the vision. And it was January 2015, my vision got very dark. We went on a moonlight hike up here and I just couldn't see enough to be safe walking on a trail. I was thrilled when they said they were sending me to USC. I had no, no question, I knew I was gonna be in the best care I can find. Arnold is a really wonderful patient and a really challenging patient for me. He came to me after having undergone several other retinal surgeries over the past decade. He had lost a lot of the vision in his eye already when he was referred to me. And Dr. Berry looks at it and says, no, this just looks like normal scar tissue, but we're gonna watch it. The next follow-up or the one after that is I know this is growing. He had a choroidal melanoma in his eye and it was shown to be growing. My first discussion with him was about a nucleation or removal of the eye. Um, when there's a cancer in the eye, that's always a safe choice. And he made it clear that he came to me and came to us at the USC Rusky Eye Institute because he wanted to save his eye. We determined that this brachy therapy was going to be the the way it goes. The eye plaque that we're using is a very advanced form of eye plaque. It allows the very careful application of radiation to a very limited area of the eye, designed both to cure the cancer and also to preserve the functional eye. We use a very special plaque here. It's actually made here at USC. It's the eye physics plaque. It has a very thin profile. In the brachytherapy, they put a radioactive plate behind your eye, right against where the tumor is. Basically, once we placed the plaque in the eye in the, in the operating room, it was very clear that with all of the scar tissue and how um, damaged the eye had been from the past surgeries, it was critical to have something very thin there. A larger plaque would not have worked in his eye. A week later, at second surgery, they remove it, but the eye was so fragile and there was a lot of damage she didn't think it was going to be savable. When I went in to remove the plaque, I ran into some difficulty. So his eye, because of all of the treatment, passed and then the radiation that I just gave him really was decompensating. And um, we joke, uh, we called it a Humpty Dumpty eye. Every piece that I put together, another piece started to, to fall apart. But we were able to slowly and gingerly stabilize the eye and save the eye. My comment to her was, well, you've managed to do what all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't do. You put Humpty Dumpty's eye back together. He now um, is doing great. His tumor is shrinking. He has full control of his intraocular disease. Of course, he didn't regain his central vision, but he still has his own eye, and he has the same peripheral vision that he had before. She just cares so much and just knows what to do with these things. She's my hero or heroine in this. She saved my life, and she saved, you know, saved my eye.